Dr. Barbara Mae Stokes was a pediatrician and pioneering disability campaigner. Born in 1922 in London to Brigadier William Noel Stokes and his wife Pauline Mary, born Reynolds, Barbara attended St. Paul's Girl School, Brook Green, London. After her father's retirement from the Royal Army Ordnance Corps, the family moved back to Dublin, residing in Hoth in the summer of 1939. Stokes matriculated to study medicine at Trinity College, Dublin in September 1939, after which she trained as house physician in Meath Hospital. She earned a certificate in public health from UCD in 1947 and hoped to become an epidemiologist, but the marriage bar pre prevented this as positions in that field were all within the public service. Training under Dr. Robert Collis at the National Children's Hospital Harcourt Street, Stokes commenced her pediatric career, strongly motivated to overcome the older generation's failure to address adequately the needs of those with congenital, physical, and intellectual disabilities. She was appointed assistant physician to St. Albans Hospital for Infants in 1947, and also worked at the Royal City of Dublin Hospital, Baggett Street. While senior demonstrator in pharmacy and in physiology in RCSI during the late 1950s, she developed a private pediatric practice specializing in neonatal work. She also led a fundraising campaign in the 1950s to upgrade the facilities of the Liberty Crush on Meath Street, founded in 1894, which served the working women of the Liberties of Dublin, often catering for succeeding generations of the same family. Stokes promoted the Liberty Crash for the rest of her career and perceiving the need to monitor new services as they were established, advocated a regulatory regime for those providing childcare services, nursery schools, and creches throughout the 1960s. Stokes' first involvement with the association that would become St. Michael's House, a community-based service for people with intellectual disability, was a part-time volunteer. Later, she managed the entire organization. A tireless advocate, Stokes served on many boards, notably the National Rehabilitation Board and Inclusion Ireland. In demand as a public speaker and expert on service provision, Stokes took every opportunity to champion the distinct needs of the parents and wider families of those with intellectual and physical disabilities, and contributed to the report of the study group on Children's Hospital Services, 1972. She was a consultant editor to A Long Way to Go, written in 1978, a documentary produced by Stratham Enterprise Films, examining the work of St. Michael's House, elucidating the medical, social, and emotional issues facing young disabled people seeking to integrate with their communities. Dr. Stokes' portrait was painted by Catherine Creaney. In this portrait, Creaney has depicted Dr. Stokes holding the report she authored in an imagined space inspired by the RCSI interiors with a painting of St. Michael's House hanging on the wall. 